many retailers are trying to hop on this, you know, hot topic and this hot trend right now. And it's definitely, you know, an additional revenue stream for them and, and something that is kind of a cost neutralizing outlet uh, for some of these, you know, kind of more expensive um, operations. And especially as, you know, kind of the third party shopper data gets harder to come by with, you know, more regulations. It's, it's really setting retailers up to, you know, kind of uh, build their business and, and provide that first party data that they collect. Um, however, you know, brands are, are being more strategic with where they're actually spending their ad dollars, especially again, with you know, inflation and, and the way that, you know, the uh, economy is at the moment, they're being, being very uh, choiceful with where they place their dollars. So, you know, First off, I would say, you know, in order for you to drive that business, you, you first have to actually have a successful online grocery business, right? You know, if you're not driving shoppers to your online website and you don't have, you know, shoppers viewing your products online, then, uh, you know, essentially for a brand, why are they spending their ad dollars with you to, you know, to drive their products and purchases if you're not driving that online business? And then the second part would be, you know, in terms of that actual retail media capability, you know, if you're not providing that return on investment and, you know, driving uh, some of those uh, return on ad spend for these brands, then, you know, they're, they're really not going to come back to you and bring their business back to you.